Hello, hello. This is Hodora, and welcome back to another stream of Rivers 1999. Because I have some free time today, I'm gonna do a short stream where I try to finish the story of the set of the Remed Cup. Last time we stopped at chapter 7, so we can now continue at chapter 8 today. Alright, let's go. Non-violent cooperation. I want to pull this down. <laughs> ah, someone leave immediately, like a player given a late card, while the other shoes a way that more imperceptible. In a corner where nobody cares, Melania. Closes the door to the electric switch box gently. In her hand is a fuse that has just been replaced. All the fuses were changed recently. I'm guessing the head of security here is a pretty tough nut to crack. Hmm. But unfortunately, too much attention to the guidance on security will probably lead to carelessness in other areas. Transferring all the human security staff and relying solely on the patrol and precaution of robots. Mm. The consequence is a 30 second blind spot in the monitored areas every 4 hours, 13 minutes and 2 seconds. That is really specific. <laughs> that gives you the chance to change the fuse here. That's right, Miss AC. I will prove the ineffectiveness of the guidance on security in person and start the show at just the right moment. Hmm. Then our next plan is to meet up with all the security robots. Why? She checks the fuses in the electric switch box again, then closes the door of the monitor room carefully. Why? Why do you need to meet with the security robot? In the spacious exhibition hall, a common girl is wandering through the crowd. She accidentally bumps into the electric robot again and again like a careless visitor. Suspicious invader detected. <laughs> Locating. The last one. Um, you seem a bit smarter than the other robots. Uh oh. Locating failed. Initiate program 2. Pushpin, glue gun. Uh oh. Glue gun. Oops. No, no, I have to be quick. Watch out for its detectors. <laughs> okay, we need to beat it down. Yeah. Hey, give me a chip. Just one with the lowest denomination. Two, five. I hear something. Yeah. Whose heart is beating so loud? I know the man. And this is an alien city. Talking out calms people down. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Easy. Yeah. Retreat! Uh, what? I can't make the call. I hear something. This. And this. Agents have guns. It's called common Ta sense. Time for a special massage. Yeah, that that's not gonna do much damage at all. Yeah, I know. Ta -da! For a okay, we have the buff. Oh, we don't so have buff. Let's put this to two star incantation. This, this, and this. Let's see. Talking out comes to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of magic. Centurion is so strong, actually. <laughs> oh, need me to get you guys an ambulance? Using troops? <laughs> hmm. Easy. Once again, Melania dodged the detector of the security robot. And wait on its part. Ally exchange. Mm. In a burst of light, the bullet hidden in the barrel of the security robot suddenly appear in Miss AC's stomach. 
As of our exchange, the bullet tailor by Melania is now in the barrels. Look out! The handle spit out a steel core ammo that originally belonged to the robot. Her tone is serious. It seems she is wearing of the robot in front of her. It's not tear gas or electrode bug spray. These robots are actually using real military ammunition. Oh, okay, that's gonna kill someone. This violates the guidance on security that has been strictly followed all the time. Is Mr. Iverson actually new at security? <laughs> no, no way. The only possible reason is that he's unscrupulous. For his security announcement. <laughs> I know their slogan. No humans promise. The Remit Cup will be absolutely secure. With a real gun. <laughs> Everyone's happy to accept the hyperbole. And believes it to be true. <laughs> Melania look at the clock on the wall. It's one hour and fifteen minutes to closing. We need to hurry. Ah. The wireless vent is usually located in the restroom. They are connected to the ceiling of the other rooms, often regards as hidden road. Um, last time I remember someone going to the vent, not Melania, someone else. Melania struggled to move in the ventilation duct, trying her best to avoid the dust and debris around her. Turn 45 degrees left and move 13 steps farther. The core device of the ventilation system is located in the third room on the left side of the exhibition hall. There's no necessary living conditions and lighting. Normally, no one will be there. I will have plenty of time to adjust the airflow. The world inside the ventilation ducts fall silent. Melania can clearly hear the sound of crawling that she deliberately keeps down. And the closer to the target, the stronger. The pungent odor from far to near. Hmm? It smells strange. Mm. Like the sour flame wine that's over fermented. Uh oh. Bang. Hello there. Are you high? <laughs> a fair clothed in colorful bubble water appear up lovely around the corner of the vent. <gasps> oh, there you are. You are. What's going on? There's actually an ambush here. He he warms This is my reverie, <laughs> or really heaven? I can't tell. Could it be a form of art created by the subtle sense of danger I'm feeling right now, and the dirty air? Come to me, come to me. You are my muse. Oh no. Let go! Did I just bump into a human security staff who got fired and went crazy? <laughs> All right. I'll just think of it as an unexpected additional exam question. Try this. The ground grappling that father used to teach me. Ooh, you know some martial art. But wow! Inspiration. My inspiration. Never lasts long. Ah... I've never experienced such vivid pain from the reverie. What does reverie mean? I don't know that word. Still holding on? One more time. <laughs> oh. <sighs> and now she, he should be out cold, right? The walls of reverie end with diggers crushing defeat. <sighs> Finally, it's all settled. This, this is not reverie. This is a terrorist attack. He not out whole yet. Cunning, cunning action. Shameful violence. Iverson, 
You set an ambush here? You crazy addict of imprisonment and war. I must blow your cover. Huh? Are you not one of them? Hmm. Of course not. Um, <laughs> sorry. Don't have to be sorry. He doesn't stay, look that hurt. From me. You must be the demon that Iverson summoned. You're more horrific than those robots. <laughs> if I say it's all a misunderstanding, could... Would you understand? <sighs> what do you think? A little reckless. Miss AC, I know. I'm too nervous. <sighs> In no way is there any possibility for him to be a security star. It sounds like a joke. I must claim that violence is the antonym of art. We should resort to a more sensible means to fight. Um, but... Can you stay away from Drak? This is the reason for us to oppose those Iversons who abuse the use of force. Couldn't agree more. I don't intend to abuse the use of force either. It's the biggest difference between Iverson's company and ours. Really? I still feel pain in my neck. <laughs> it's... It, it's just an accident. As compensation, I will get you out. Fine. Apology accepted. Oh, that easy. When will we start off? In five minutes. I have to change the terminal valve in the room first. Adjust the position of the deflector in the duct and change the airflow from the spiral fan. Abundant magnetic glue will be blown out of the ventilation ducts by the spiral fan and adhere to the robots. Mm. <laughs> the fine glue will paralyze them. Completely. After that, you could just waltz away. Sounds like a big project. Do you need my help? Uh, no. Absolutely. Really? Stay as far away as possible from the regulator valve behind you. Ugh. Okay, so don't touch anything. <laughs> that is a good advice. Right, don't touch anything. No way he gonna touch something, right? <laughs> Kines DJ, okay, time for Nicholas. Nicholas ship can sail everywhere she wants, except where there is security fence. <laughs> Captain, isn't our destination supposed to be the exhibition hall of the Rimmit Cup? Of course. I think we just missed the front gate at the junction we passed just now. Where we are now looks like a deserted back door. And there is a no entry sign. <coughs> <laughs> it's not important. It's not good for the fan favorite disc jockey to appear in the crowded areas. I don't want to make a noise. Aww. Oh, I see. I thought it was because Captain didn't have enough budget. <laughs> Misunderstanding. Aww. Our aim is to convince the ragged lad to expose the evil plans of those tin monsters. Of course, we can't just walk in. She searches her pocket but failed to find any of her ideal lovely coins. It's as empty as the desert. Mr. Apple, do you remember Tommy's offer of a generous reward? He hopes we can divulge a sensational secret. Captain, it seems you really want that bonus. Of course not! The Righteous Street Pirate has a warm heart. <laughs> Hello, Sakalenshin. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? How's your day? We are you having a good do time? Tommy a favor. And we should accept a friend's quality thanks. I get it, Captain. Hmm. The great rock pirate saves the day. The cocky ragged lad is no longer stray. The big hero also, do you know this game? Takes a of this game story and why acting is top not. The gameplay is so so, but the story is really too good. Endless bonus! <laughs> Captain. Go 
Captain Legolas seems to have foreseen a bright future. However, it doesn't seem to help her get rid of the bad boy standing in front of her. Not even deal with the strange people who suddenly appear. Uh. Captain, watch out! Why is this guy here? Why is Mendixus no, here? No violence! Are you guys from the government? I've done oh, they form Manas Mendixus. The skin hardness, the voice, and the liquid released from the wound have nothing to do with humans. I am afraid they are. Oh, I get it! They're the security robots in the newspaper! <laughs> no! Well, it might be. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do whatever. The backbone is indifferent to Regulus' question. The backbone, sorry. Only swinging the hammer over and over mechanically. Just like some kind of war machine programmed to work. in London? Hmm. Oh, those fuddy duddies don't have their beards in their heads, do they? Nicholas aboard the attack in a rush. We'll have to change the plan. London must not be taken over by these ugly tin monsters. We need to expose the security robots to the public for what they really are. They're violent, rude, and extremely dangerous. This apple will fight by your side till the very end. No. You have a more important mission, Mr. Apple. Captain Regulus Are you still asks here? you to take over the nearest <laughs> radio station. Roger that. Mr. Shin, are you still here? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Stone. Keep stone? What stone? Anyway... Okay, we so let's change you to eternity. All right, just one thing. To wave. All right. I hear something. And this Hello, maybe. Gently. This concert. Uh, ah. And this is an alien city. Don't be so furious. Hmm, a little bit hot here. Oh, oh, that's strong. <laughs> Well, well, well. Work hard. Is beating so loud? So sharp. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Sempre caro mi su questa bucola. What can I do? I can use this one to get up above. I believe this. This easy. and this. The next turn we can debuff them. And this is an alien city. My child, here's something fun for you. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. <gasps> Alright, debuff oh this and this. We should listen to what Everything should be dead. <laughs> Each moment, now night. Hey yeah. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. You better take it. Mm -hmm. Alright, next is Small Gift. Don't mention it, it's the least he can do. Um Dicker's gonna do something bad again. Right. Either Dicker's or Pico. Let's see who it is. Legolas? Hmm. Shelton and the puppies arrive at the Limit Cup exhibition. It's supposed to be a happy family gathering, everyone thinks so. Except Pickles. <coughs> Thank you for comforting me, Wendy. But I'm afraid that I'm not impressed by this pink and green Fitby. <coughs> you don't seem to understand the core problem. Pico glances at Charlton, who is busy at the ticket office. 
His readership style is not democratic, and he never understands what we are thinking. He drags us here from our books and puppy land just for the football exhibition. The little bulldog keeps pushing Pickles, hinting that he should move forward. No, Wendy, it's not the time for playing. More puppies come from around Shelton and surround Pickles. He is always the most popular pup. Shall I invite you too? You are so interested in football. The puppy nods together. Really? <laughs> All dog like ball. Huh. Well, except Pico. <laughs> Maybe my judgment was too harsh. However, Pico is about to say something more. While Shelton, indignant, grumbling, interrupted. It says clearly on the leaflet, we welcome everyone who loves football. Oh, they're not allowed dog inside, maybe. <laughs> yes, mister. Then you should let us in. Me, Wendy, Alice, Nelson, and Little Pickles. We all love football. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no pets are allowed in here. Ah. We provide pet keeping services with professional police dog guarding. <clears throat> The security guard point to the huge cage next to him. There is various mini footballs and puppy toys. The dark police dog slouched in the doorway. Uh. Shelton hesitantly pick up one of the yellow, of the lemon yellow balls and squeeze it hard. The little bulldog jump up and take the ball out of Shelton's hand, rushing to the new playground. Other puppies follow closely behind. Toys are toys. Delightful toys, obviously. No one really cares as much about the size and color of the football as humans do. Oh, don't bump your head, Wendy. Oh, looks like we'll all have a good place to go. Hmm. Have a great time in the puppy land. Shelton waves his hand firmly and then turns and disappears into the visitors. <laughs> then Pico is here for nothing. This is a cage, my friend. Shameful discrimination. No matter how many toys there are, discrimination is discrimination. The security dog lying in the doorway pat Pico on the shoulder. I refuse. You should be on our side instead of defending human atrocities. Uh oh. Even if it's dangerous inside, they should not deprive us of our right to get in. Wait, you say that? It's dangerous inside? <coughs> the security dog nods its head seriously. <coughs> oh, they had to go and help Shelton. <coughs> okay, I smell a funny thing too. Like a burnt metal or a pile of saltpeter. <coughs> Aww. Uh. Tremendous noise and sound of gears rotating come from the hall. Have you reported that? Well, police officer not gonna understand police dog, right? <laughs> All your courage who got around that person in charge were driven out. You are the only one left. Hmm. <coughs> The puppies listen carefully and discuss with each other. This start match the features of the conspiracy theories I read from the human books. 
they often have all kinds of con conspiracies. There might be a huge crisis in this abnormal, no dog around exhibition. <laughs> Something suddenly popped into Pickle's mind. He turned around and looked at the line at the door, slowly pushed its way into the exhibition hall. Charlton is no longer among them. There should be a way to sneak in through the back door. Thank you for telling me that. I'm leaving now. Oh, Pico is so nice. Pico show his excellence as a border collie. Is that a breed of a dog? I don't know. He dodges all the thorn and friend with a with um ap apron, just like a real hero. <laughs> Phew, this back door seems to have been abandoned for a long time. Hmm. I hope I didn't waste too much time. Hmm. The chain life friendly check or the undesirable frankly. Pickle eye fall on a small hole in the fence. Hmm. But it fancy the puppies. It's common knowledge that Apple fall from trees occasionally. Lovely to see you again. Ah, we eyes. meet again. <coughs> Miss Apple, uh, Mr. A Mr. Apple, why are you here? This apple has accepted a commission from Captain to investigate the venue. You <coughs> are aware of the crisis in this hall as well, so my perception is right. Oh, right. Since last time we met, this apple has been contemplating how to communicate with you. <laughs> so, here it is. A simple translator. Doggy. Aww. It's still under testing, so the function How do you make complete. that? Sometimes Mr. Apple. it just stops working. Also, it might somehow misunderstand dog language. Apple has the translator to Pickles after brief hesitation. Pickle takes it. Although I have no intention to frequently communicate with humans, thank you, Mr. Apple. The puppy expresses his gratitude. <laughs> it's just translated emotion, huh? It's my pleasure. It's a pity that this apple doesn't have adequate time to test it. You'd better leave as soon as possible. Those violent security robots may show up at any time. The puppy expresses his denial. Uh, we don't have translator anymore. Subtitle for pickles. Hmm. Shelton. Shelton is still in there. He may not be a good master, but a great deal of his bad habit. But I can't say the danger he may come into a sign. Wendy and the other puppies will be devastated. They can't be without Shawson. There is something very important for the puppy inside. Oh, that is more advanced than I thought. The puppy falls silence. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Let's head forward. In the face of danger, this apple will do his utmost to assist. Apples land on Pico's back. They are both ready to go. To the hole! Oh yeah, I forgot that apple have hand. <laughs> After a short axis, Pico make a perfect arch through the air and easily go through the broken security fence. Whoa. Thank you for the translator, Mr. Apple. Next. We don't have enough energy. <laughs> Good thing I have a lot of these candy. All right, next. <laughs> I have to finish this today. Because tomorrow is going to be... Rimbus Company. <laughs> chapter... Season 4, but Chapter 5 going to come out. 
the eyes of the puppy shy indigo. He moves agilely and swiftly, avoiding all robots. This time, Pickles really hope his instinct doesn't work. He rushes into the room at the end of the corridor. The screen of CCTV lights up in blue. Every corner of exhibition hall is shown in front of them. How do you find this place at a glance? Have you been here? Just my instinct. The puppy expresses his modesty. Ah, oh, it's not translated correctly. Apple noticed the microphone on the table. The mission assigned by Captain progresses smoothly. We have a whole set of broadcasting equipment here. Uh oh. Hmm. Then we only need to install a corresponding frequency interference device. Captain Regulus can fully control all radio channels within the radius of five kilometers. That really a huge area. Pickles scream is screen quickly. At Pickles, the two sneaking figure who open up the ceiling and quickly disappear into the dark. It's really weird here. I must find him right away. Oh, it's Charlton! I see him! In the hall, where the car be presented. I need to go now. Goodbye, Mr. Chapel. Mr. Apple. <laughs> I make Charlton with Apple, sorry. The hall is most crowded place with visitors chatting loudly. The world here is so chaotic. Oh, bloody hell. Who let this plushy monster in? <laughs> oh, he allergic to... fur. Now this whole place is contaminated by disgusting fur. <laughs> A furious man walks over Pickles. He keep pressing the button again and again. Is he talking to me? It's a mistake, sir. I'm here for... Robots! Where are my robots? Drive it out! <laughs> Command received. The cold blood iron robot get close to Pickle and show him a threatening tracer. Oh no! Don't do that to a dog! What are you doing? Although I tried this though, I haven't mastered it yet. Sorry, but I had to control your emotion without permission. He shy with a glorious harrow. The indigo right on him overwhelmed the robot. Alert! Alert! Unknown energy detected. Bang! The robot suddenly stop. The meter number fluctuate at if it's affected by a mysterious force. Phew! So the energy of robot is also a type of overly act overactive emotion. What's wrong? You broke down. More and more robots are pushing. Risk rating. Hmm? Request support. Request support. Terrible plushy monster. It, it Come must on, Pico is so cute. We must put it down right now. All of you, just drive it out. No, 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 put it down. Anxiety is affecting your brain, which may lead to irrepressible madness. <laughs> If you are not capable of restraining yourself, I may be the help. The chaos aroused the attention of the more visitor, but Everson doesn't seem to care about it. <laughs> Death God 3! No, the situation here is more troublesome than I expected. A man violently put his way through the crowd and stand next to Pickles. What are you doing? Get away from my Pickles! Nice, Shelton. It's you who brought it in. I now warn you, your dog is a bloody hazardous uncertainty and we must put it down. What a humbug! He's not hazardous at all! 
Every one of our neighbors loves him. Let's go. Achoo. <laughs> you don't have a voice here. You can't leave either. The Lamin Lobos, Sir Shelton and Pickles. Oh. Don't act in half. This robot are dangerous. According to item 5, article 172 of the Guidance on Security, security companies have the right to directly deal with any dangerous items when on duty. No. Oh. I command you to hand me your dog. As compensation, we will buy you a more purebred and more friendly dog for helping us wipe out risks. Don't lose your mind to a pet dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, I assume I was a sort of tension here. You got fur you go first, I can take care of this. Shelton rushed to Pickle, straight out his arm and angry stare at a crowbird co-brothered iron monster in front of him. Oof, sorry. What the hell are you The music is really about? nice He's really nice friend. though. You crazy bastard! Would you ever leave your friend alone? Oh, fine, maybe you would, you cold-blooded prat. Dead from the neck up. <sighs> you have never been so emotional before. If you don't want to be put onto the World Cup audience blacklist, I kindly request you to stop what you are doing. <laughs> Very well done. But I'll tell you what, you can't threaten me. I'm definitely not leaving Pickles alone. Aww. Go the World Cup. <laughs> Come on, if you're gonna beep <laughs> that, fool. beep that properly. He pressed the red button. Catch them! The security robot quickly react. Shelton fearlessly lands to the robot via brave matador in the red cape. Oh no, we had to save him. And. Hey, Centurion is the can do this. The peace be with us. I this. Uh, hard is beating so loud. Yeah. Shh. I hear something. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Don't be so furious. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Okay. You, you, and you. Yeah, I know. Should be good enough, right? Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, what? mi amigo. You still don't recognize me? Nice. What about now? Now we can do this. Do this. I believe you. This. Okay. What? You still don't recognize me? What about that? Good, good, good. Now... Uh... Buff. Debuff. And just ultimate. Peace, great, and kill everyone in one turn. Gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of lucky hand. Nice. Should be dead, right? Easy. I will pray for you. Sorry. Hmm? The security robot take back the sedative spray. Everson is very really pleased with their performance. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> Turn the ventilation system to the highest mode. I don't want any dog fur here. Other robots, go catch that dog. Command confirm. Oh, is Charlton sleep now? With the sedative. Pickle snip Charlton. Who in coma? <laughs> it's not safe to sleep here, my friends. The robot getting closer and closer. Pico notices the, the remote control in Everton's hand. Wolverine is not a good choice. With a proper approach, this robot can work for us too. 
All the fans in the hall are switched on. They're spinning faster and faster. Suddenly, there is strange noise from the ceiling. Hey, hey! What's going on here? What have you done? Uh oh, something not going as planned, huh? This is the plan you told me. We're going to be blown out. Hey, slow down. It's too late. Crash warning. Can the air be so strong that it pushed piece of people out? Hi. Hi. Indeed. Hi. Now, the gang is here. Everyone is here. I hope there is a chapter that we can control three of them. Melania, Digger, and Pico together. But look like they're not gonna be anything like that in this type of mobile game. No special character unless you look to it out yourself, right? The fans keep working and generate a continuous scale. Dot fragment and string magnet stick to the cover of the ventilation. Some of them scatter and linger above Everton head. Some magnetic ship then in the air and tightly stick to a robot when they're near. The robot trapped in trapped by magnets that that is so fast. Okay, Everton is too busy to take care of this messy robot. The thick crowd above his head, his anger will burst out at any time. Nasty invader. I'm sorry, Mr. Iverson. Actually, I didn't know my entrance would be so straightforward. I think she knows the situation better than. Huh? <laughs> she runs. She... It seems you are the abandoned poor worm. What else are you going to show me? Any jokes of the never will happen utopia? It may be unrealistic, but it is possible. Oh no. The bubbles are here. Right after Digger feeble words, a huge bubble fall in front of him. Whoa. Lots of bubbles. Is this the special event of the exhibition? Maybe not. These soap bubbles are. Ah, I see. The ventilation system is switched on. The soap bubble device I threw outside is now functioning. Oh, nice. The colorful, effective bubbles start uh, wandering. Excuse me, may I borrow your broken robots? Stop! What the hell did you do? What are these damn bubbles? <laughs> Actually, it is a reformation of art. Nika step on the head of the security robot where everyone can see him. I see it in the teller. Yep. Get down from there, you bastard! Mom! It's that weird man! <laughs> is he provoking the robots? <gasps> he did sign a safety commitment statement, right? My friends. Have you been fed up with the dull and dreary reality? Do you want to get rid of this place of cliché and red tape? Huh. You once yearned for a better world, a peaceful world with music. Open your eyes and look at the soap bubbles in front of you. Now! And mm. salute to all the transient beauties. Hmm. Don't go near the those bubbles. Those bubbles are drug. <laughs> more and more colorful buff soft bubbles showed up in the hall. They reflect the person, the people, curious eyes, floating up and down in the air as if doing the most popular twist at the time. Some visitor, some visitors start to shake their body, and then the right affected by the soap bubbles. More and more people join in. Eventually, they become an ocean of joy. Is the uniqueness of you? Of mankind only leave you here, or is it deeply hidden in everyone? Pickles try to wake Shelton up with his paws, but fell. Wake up, Shelton! The party has begun! 
Whoa, a surprise party beyond everyone crazy at fantasies. The soul bubbles are dancing around the people, just like your favorite middle ball. How exciting. Alright, I suppose these are far from a touch free from him. He will try to wake Charlton up with his paw through barking and reeking, but none of them work. How much did the tip spare did Charlton take? It's been a while and the smell doesn't fail at all. Since it must be controlled by one of the buttons, I need to get the remote from the cranky man. Get this hooligan out of here! <laughs> Ever since grass, the remote control, the button is tightly squeezed. Better death spray ready to deploy. Uh oh. Don't you want to try some of these bubbles, Mr. Iverson? We can find a peaceful way to coexist. Pop. Everson violently pick and destroy all the bubble approaching him. A mix scent of raw mucus and rose oil immediately capture his note. Boring little trick. Bubbles keep breaking around Everson, but he is indifferent. Aren't you curious at all? Take a look at it and you'll activate every cell of art. Even iron nerds can sparkle their imagination. Hmm. Don't tell me your imagination level is null. Joking time over. He put the remote control in his pocket. Your utopia has always been a joke. Only hegemony, hatred, and force can push history forward. Vain revolt is like helpless barking. Hmm. Everson grabbed a robot weapon thoughtfully. His employees had finally regained consciousness. The, the silent robot approached slowly and surrounded Dickers. Perhaps I will be expelled from this impromptu party, away from its artistic beauty, and forced to bid farewell to my new friends. Aww. Perhaps people as insensible, cold, and numb as you will become mainstream in the end. But it is not now. All right. Easy. We're going to do the same as we do last time. This heart is beating so loud. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Don't be so furious. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Retreat! Oh, what? I can't make the call? Do this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> need me to get you guys in the alley. Hey, hey, hey! Don't oh, not Q. I thought he was gonna Q. Oh, well. Good enough, right? That should do. Oh, what is this? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I saw sharp. And this. Now, let me choose two lucky I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Talking out comes people down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanic. Aww, you want to survive? Dad. Aww, you want to survive? Dad. Yeah, I know. Do they see this? Okay, so that should do, right? That should kill, what? I think. You still don't recognize me? What hey, about hey, now? hey! Don't be shy. Uh, Let's dance. Okay, good. I thought it gonna <laughs> not kill. If it's not kill, I should use ultimate instead of that spell. Okay. I think this story in chapter 14, right? <sighs> Pretty
brilliant. Although there were some unexpected hiccups. Hmm. Our plan went well. The fuse has been changed. Bullets replaced. Magnets installed. Most robots have been paralyzed. Even Mr. Iverson seems to be at a loss. <laughs> no, Iverson has other yet. thing to take care of. Yes. <laughs> it's better to say that the show hasn't yet begun. Let's turn up the light, turn down the air conditioning, and crank up the usage of the radio. Let's see. When will the replace few Miss AC? We don't have much time left. Hmm. Come on, let me bring you to a hidden place. Hopefully you don't mind swallowing <laughs> a slightly bulky thing. What tricks did you come up with? Oh no. This is going to be the most crucial part. <laughs> what are you gonna shop in Mr. AC? Please help me, Miss AC. Actually, according to item 18 in the safety commitment statement, we need to arrest the violators who interrupt others' visit. Tie him up and inject Mew Mew Mute your potion. I uh -oh. don't want to hear his stupid ideas anymore. Command received. Activate the spraying system. Clean all those damn bubbles. Interesting that Everton have answer for almost everything here. The farce is over. All our guests, please enjoy your visit. Unfortunately, those who were bewitched and violated the safety commitment statement, you will be further investigated after the exhibition. Iverson is concentrated on the crowd that cooling down, but he doesn't realize the bulb above is getting brighter. He has taken control over this place and have no intention to set us free. It's an unwise choice to get the remote, but. Pickle laugh again, Shelton, like a farewell before departure. Pickles hear a barking of dogs in the distance. The sound is so familiar and friendly. Is that the sound of... Ah, friends! Footsteps are getting closer and clearer. Canines have really sharp sense of danger, but undoubtedly this is not your instinctive reaction. <laughs> the puppy tooth that was trapped outside unexpectedly alive. How do you get in here? Fair enough, a well-trained security guard can send a crisis in advance and have outstanding flexibility to meet emergency. But puppy alone is not enough. Wait, this messy thing you bought here, radio, monocule, purse, working manual, microphones. These people that how you ask for help? That is not help. <laughs> that is just stealing. <laughs> Footsteps and screaming are getting getting clearer. Stop it, you cheeky dogs! Give my microphone back. My breath! I only took a bite! Um, I don't think you're gonna you want to eat that bread anymore. The scurrying puppies and the owner of this item and the slowly reacting security guards break the silence that Everton have worked so hard to maintain. What's going on? Who let them in? Sorry, Mr. Iverson. There are too many of them. Pigo give a shiver. Perhaps because it's getting cold in the exhibition hall, or because he has a new impression of his puppy friends. I underestimate you. You are not some indecent puppy at all. The old radio next to Pickle make a slight noise. Here she come. 
Meanwhile, noises also come from speaker at all corners, and the radio broadcasters hold by people rushing in. A new visitor entered the control room breathlessly. breathlessly. Just in time. <laughs> Here she the is. The sharp pirate captain has arrived at the grandest stage. The mixer, the microphone, the radio. They are the best equipment for this uninvited guest. The silent radio is soon replaced by the more powerful frequency. This is 25 degrees east. You are listening <laughs> to the Rockin' Apple, the most distinctive ship to date. Salute to all my discerning audience, my loving followers. Everton got disrupted by every arcanist in this city. <laughs> you guessed it right. This pirate has hijacked all the radio frequencies here. You're able to pick up Radio Apple clearly from anywhere in London. Whether you're cheering for the moment or wish to change the channel, whether you love rock and roll or hate all music, <laughs> do not switch if you don't want to miss the moment to unveil a conspiracy. A huge conspiracy about the London authorities and the compelling security robots. <laughs> My friends, we are in the middle of a huge hoax. The London authorities have deceived everyone. It is impossible to have such obedient, flawless, safe and reliable security robots in this world. On the contrary, they use violence, harm citizens and show no kindness. Uh oh. What? To cover the backside and block the news, the man in charge, he keeps out the people who want to have fun to visit the Rimmick Cup. Captain Regulus clashed with the robot army at the back entrance of the hall. The brave captain managed to escape and to retreat. <laughs> But there's no doubt that this is an infringement of our freedom. The incompetent London authorities attempt to work with security companies and use their awful robots to govern. They want to take our life away, render us helpless, so they can manipulate us. People are whispering the scene is like the falling of small rock before a severe landslide. The tied up diggers is the best proof. <laughs> You have my respect, poor ragged lad. People become confused and surround Everson, who is noticeably unpleased. He should be displeased, right? What that pirate said, is that true? I am very sure you are deceived. But you did imprison the poor citizen. If that's what you think, I can now prove to you the reliability of new humans security. Mr. Madbot, you and your evil plan have been overcome by the Justice Captain Regulus. London belongs to us. <laughs> belongs to freedom. Freedom. <laughs> You're right. In such case, security guards are more flexible. You... you mean... Do something. These people are breaking the rules. Are you just going to stand and watch? Ah. Copy that. Wh what are you doing? Run! Oh no, are they hurting people now? That's bad. Mm -mm. Okay, let's fight. Peace be with us. This, this, and this. Is beating so My classic so opener. And this gives power to thee. Talking now, it calms people down. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Ow. 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 I hear something. Radio waves are everywhere. Oh, if we need me to get you guys an ambulance. And... This. And this. Next turn we can buff and use ultimate. Sadly, we have no debuff from Brookburn. Okay, so this. Now this. Lunches, you lucky guess. 
Well, this might do. Let's see. Gentlemen, this is not magic, no trick. <laughs> Only one left. Okay, bye bye. I will pray for you. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Mr. Apple, here. Put the tape away. There is a shout mutter on the radio. Then it becomes a declaration of ambition and passion. <laughs> this pirate's instincts are never wrong. My assistant, Mr. Apple, has first hand evidence of everything. It'll be the most sensational news. Every news agency will invest millions on it. The next song for the exasperated poor authorities. The all feels that are definitely in straw is finally boring. Boring as the temperature lies. Huh? Why is the power out? Uh oh. Mm hmm. All is ready. Yeah, you, you also disrupt each other's plan. <laughs> this is going well for everyone. <laughs> Information overload. Go! Turn on the emergency light and go check the circuit. Copy that. The shan will come soon. The spotlight cast down from the ceiling and focus on the brightest place, the showcase of a remote cup. Which is gone! You moron! What are you doing? This is not the emergency light! No, no, that wasn't me! The cup! The cup is missing! Flawless protection is just a disguise, while threatening is the essence. Mm. In such a dull and dreadful exhibition hall, does anyone still remember those stories full of imagination and miracles? You in there! You going in there! Oh, such a daring! Such a daring girl! <laughs> All the light shine on the grass showcase. She holds the remote cup, just like hugging a long lost friends. Nobody noticed the name tag of the remote cup had disappeared from the showcase. Whoa! Someone is in the case! She... she holds the remote cup. How'd she get in there? Yes. It's finally back now. Back to Ramirez. Ramirez? The company that forged the Rimmick Cup and went bankrupt. You are... Oh, it's been a long time. The lead of new humans. The witness <laughs> to the events that year. And the lucky man who finally retrieved the Rimmick Cup. Mr. Iverson. You know the story of the Rimmick Cup better than anyone. Don't you? Who are you? You were repelled by Ramirez's novelty and hated their surprising imagination and miracle stories one after another. Apparently, it is better to follow the rules even if we fail. We'll have nothing to be blamed. Aww. To bury that shining star, the peers jointly forged a Rimmit Cup and carefully schemed a security commission that was doomed to fail. Bollocks! You are a thief! You're not going to defame us! <laughs> The Ramirez's have a tradition of leaving arcane marks on each item for safekeeping. The marks will be revealed with special cameras. Oh, those yes. cameras! The mark the of the blue circle we have thing. Never protected before. Now, I have finally found the truth. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. You may call me the Great Thief AC. For heaven's sake, she's that thief who stole countless treasures. Or my real name, of course. Melania Ramirez. Damn, you even reveal your name. Really darling, indeed. Mr. Iverson, what shall we do? Don't listen to her. Are you going to believe a thief? But there's no article on guidance that we could follow to deal with a situation <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, just follow the book. Follow the book. Put her down, then everything will be fine. Gun ready. Gun ready? Iverson stare at Melania like a demon. 
the vein on his arm burst, he furtively pressed the almost imperceptible button on the remote control. The back of the robot fouled off, unveiling the body back guns. They slowly moved upward, aiming at the highest spot. I thought I would never use these steel bullets. He pressed the button. <sighs> Looks like you guys made the worst choice. Well, it's not surprising. All right, bot fight. Right, should be bot fight now. You look younger than the image. <laughs> oh well, there's only one way. That's fine. And we don't need healing. What are you talking about? Okay, buff. I believe in you. Be buff. I hear something. And Both this. heart is beating so loud. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Oh. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. Hmm. We can mix the AOE attack for Centuria. Uh. Okay. A this. Okay, now what should we do? Mm. I buff, debuff. I hear something. Attack. Yeah, I know. So long lives this. And this gives power to thee. Don't be so serious. Should do quite a bit of damage. Yes, quite a lot actually. <laughs> hey, I'm the support staff. <gasps> yes, Centuria do a lot of damage when she is full AP. Retreat! What? I can't make the call? Mm, now we can do this. And this, and this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, no any special kind of Should be dead. Yep. Radio waves are everywhere. Need me to get you guys an ambulance? Now we just beat him up. Yeah. Let's kick him. Hey, hey, hey. Bye bye. Stay low profile. Easy. I'd... Everson fall to the ground, dropping the remote control side it like a period in the whole story. Those bullets and tranquilizers flying toward Melania suddenly explode. Oh, I forgot to tell you that some of the equipment carried by the robots have violated the guidance on security. Aww. So, I replaced them with safer firework bullets. All people are drowned in the harrow of firework. The puppy dashes fearlessly toward Everson remote control. Now! Now we don't read the story, right? This is a parting gift after all the failure. Damn, <laughs> <Hey>, Pico. <laughs> But it's better to destroy the remote control that will place our security at risk as early as possible. Okay? Aww. <laughs> she laughs, snap her finger, and disappear. What remains is the exhibition hall name tag of the remote cup, which appear hey, again on the showcase. No, not that one. Look at the border collie. He found us the remote cup. 
Oh, is that an end yet? Hmm. Maybe the alto. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Puppy choice. Hmm. Let's see. Remote cup. They smell left on the cup. She is also an arcanist and she's still around. He presses the cup next to Charlton and then run toward the quiet corner. Where that puppy ran away? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Feeling sick. Disgusting. Aww. Almost crying. <laughs> Sorry, Miss AC. It was me who asked you to swallow too much weird stuff. Um, even including me. Oh, you go inside the bag. <laughs> I swear, when it's all over, I will take you to a professional leather care store for proper treatment. But now, we have to get out of here as soon as possible. Are you finished? Of course. Iverson looks as if he's just swallowed a whole slug slime. Eventually, he's lost to the arcanist imagination. Those journalists who are not in the plan would definitely not miss the big news. It's all a mess here. Hmm. And we are going to leave with ease now. Nope. Unnoticed. Nope. That's not gonna happen. <coughs> hmm? What's coming? Our kind of creature. I can't believe someone has found me. Am I exposed? No, fan lady, you may have brought a wrong thing with you. Shh! Wait! Wait! Stop barking! Let's not get the other's attention. I need to wake Charles enough and leave soon before anything might see her happen. Pico lowers his voice and keeps saying something. An anxious but friendly puppy. <sighs> Alright, puppy. Let's make a deal. The puppy wants to get rid of the current situation. You wanna... get out of here? It's not part of the plan, but I can take you for a ride. Leave? No. At least not now. The puppy is asking for your opinion. What do you want? This? The pigment to make you invisible in a second. No one will see you, including your puppy friends. Hmm. Or this breeze glider. When you open your arms, or um, your <laughs> front legs, all it takes is a little breeze and the flying membrane will get you anywhere. Aww, I want that. <laughs> Sound like some tailor made too for my aspiration. <laughs> but... Or say, are you going to give everyone a surprise too? Shark alarm. It will wake up all the sleepyheads, keeping everyone wide awake. Um, it's often used to deal with those heavy-headed security guards. Ah, that's good. The approaching footsteps interrupt their communication. Where is that puppy? I think it just came this way. A dog retrieves the cup. Mind-blowing news. It will be the star. It sounds weird. You have to make your choice, smart puppy. Those weird tools are displayed in front of Pickles. This is definitely an exceptional decision. Cheers, pup. Wait, she left out with three of them? With a noisy ring in the hall, story of hero puppy eventually catches everyone's attention. As we like it. Let's see. I say I'm gonna finish the story, so I'm gonna finish the story. No matter how long it is. <laughs> 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 
Wait, there must be some misunderstanding. <coughs> Calm down, my friends. <coughs> oh, please don't touch my tail, Gasset, please. <coughs> well, indeed, victory for puppies. <coughs> they are getting more and more excited. <coughs> hey, Mushu, Mushu understanding. Pickles staggering and crying for help as a swallow by festive Riam. The hero puppy is surrounded by the excited crowd. Together with the rheumatic cup. <sighs> Shelton wake up. At this very moment, he awkwardly but happily accept everything. <laughs> Hello sir, are you the owner of this hero puppy? Not exactly. I'm his friend. Aww best friend indeed um would you mind telling us how you raised such a brilliant dog i guess people will care about the puppy's daily life after the articles published well i often enjoy the symphony with him sometimes we'll discuss profound philosophical issues together really when when we did that yes we have quite an extensive collection of books at home for example meditaciones de prima philosophia the Republic, uh, Rhetoric to um, Alexander. I'm more surprised that you can pull out that thing than you lead the thing. <laughs> That's an informative first hand material. Hmm. Thanks for your cooperation, Mr. Owner. It's been a pleasure to be interviewed by you. Pickles too. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. We may have further and more detailed interviews that need your cooperation. A constant stream of interviews, film shoots, and friendly matches with the England national football team will follow. Ooh. I'm sure the team would also like to thank the hero who guarded the cup in person. The puppy's heroic act may even be highly appealing to film investors. Really? Hmm. Though I've foreseen all of this, it's still hard for me to accept the reality. Help! <laughs> People are not able to share happiness or divide sorrow, even if they stand in the same exhibition hall. On the other side of the hall, someone else is crying. Oh yeah, we forgot about Dickers. Right? <laughs> is he okay? Wandering is my destiny. Okay, at least you're not Mew anymore. After an unprecedented and unexpected soap bubble surprise party, none of them left anything improvised about Utopia. Not even one of them mentioning a monumental event oh, sorry. shamefully compared to a puppy. Art is dead. Don't be so sad. Hello? That's one of the stories I've come across, readers of R2. R2. It's dramatic, full of misunderstandings, lovely animals, and terrifying intrigues, again providing us with a ludicrous ending. Mm. I'm glad to have the great honor to share this with you. Wherever you are, Whatever you've been, I hope this story will bring you a moment of joy. Yeah, it does, right, and everyone? I'm also sincerely looking forward to your stories. Mm. Yeah, we are happy, right? <laughs> the end. Yay! Now we are done. So, have a good time. I hope you have a good time at least. Good day, good night, good whatever. <laughs> bye bye.